Hello everyone and welcome down to the Golf Bidder Challenge and this is the back nine of the match here at the beautiful Centurion between myself and Rick Shields. So far in this Golf Bidder Challenge so far we've picked the clubs, I'll link that in the video and we've had the first part on Rick's channel so if you've not checked those out yet make sure you do. The back nine, I'm currently two up and playing okay. You Rick. could be <laughs> five up, six up. If you've, if you've not seen the last hole, the last part, where I just got squarely punched in the face. You know what? All credit to your host, Peter Finch, for being unbelievably sportsmanship-ish. <laughs> for, yeah. for not losing his rags, I think I'd have lost I, it. I, I and to be fair, I gave him the chance if he wanted to, wanted to take it, but we look back at the footage. So anyway, the hole was halved. <clears throat> I'm two down. And now we're on the 10th, which is a shortish par four. Yeah, it's um, just under 400 yards. We'll have a little bit of a look through the bags as we go, but please check out that first video if you haven't already. This is my driver. I went old school. Old school. And maybe not for the right reasons. <laughs> right, you've straight not, down. You've not hit it terribly, but it's certainly not been a, as revelationary, our oh, words are good today, as last year's. This one will be though. Uh-oh. Oh. Hook. Uh oh. Don't know. Start the back nine. How we finished the front nine. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't a sudden sudden turn on then, was there? However, mate, I think some of the trees we've been in in the past they've been a bit sparser than uh, sparser than we imagined. I'm going for the M1 driver. I didn't crank the loft down before we started, which was a bit silly. So just to give you a heads up, if you don't know the challenge, we went to Golf Bidder. It's a fantastic site to sell your used clubs and also to buy used clubs and new clubs. And we had a, a, a budget of £500 to spend to assemble a set. They're Pete's clubs, they're my clubs. My clubs look better, but I don't believe they're performing much better. <laughs> and they're not because Pete's winning the match. It's not about looks, Rick, you know this, come on. I know. It's about personality. So Pete's hitting his M1, been hitting it nicely. Let it ride. Downwind, good. Into wind, not quite so much. Bada bing, bada boom. That's ripped. That's flying. Downwind. I'm laughing. Yeah, just stopped in the wet ground, but that is absolutely perfect. <laughs> I'm talking about the uh, trees being a bit sparse. <laughs> Obviously not over here. We've got gorse, we've got pine. I've literally, I've got a backswing, I've just not got a follow through. I'm 118 yards away. Okay, just going to give it a whack? Yeah. Okay, I'll take a step back and see if we can glimpse it coming out. I'm just a little bit further on the fairway, a bit plugged. Might be a bit close actually where that, where that pin is. Now, normally I'd be saying, oh, Rick's not got a chance here, this is ridiculous, what's he even bothering looking for but on the last golf bit of challenge on the last hole Rick hit what can only describe as a miracle shot so <laughs> it doesn't literally look like he's in the middle of the forest there oh, it's come out exceptionally well great shot mate back of the green bang on line Bit long. Yeah. Told you. Shields he has game in the golf bit of challenge. Pete after a great drive found the fairway. So it's just a little bit wet in parts. The weather here in the UK at the start of the year has been somewhat abysmal. <laughs> um, Pete's got 65 yards to the flag. Gonna go with your little lob wedge. Yeah, just a Half a swing, just trying to get it a little bit past the pin on this one. Ball above the feet. It was nippy. Yeah, it was okay. Pin high, just a fraction tug left. I'm, I'm, this is the one club. What is that club, Pete? This is a Mac Daddy 2 Callaway. Now, obviously, it's old, but behind the ball 
I, I really don't like the look of it. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> and I and you know me, Rig. You play with me enough to know that I do like a good lob wedge. You sure do. But not for me that one. Not for me. Oh, definitely a bit more exposed on top of this hill. Sorry if you're getting a bit of a whack of the wind. So Rick's got a good 40 foot back down the green. All things considered after his tee shot, it's not a bad result. It's going to come down to begin with. So it's going to gather a little bit of pace, but honestly, I think this wind is going to take quite a bit of speed off it. So our distance control on putting, if you've not seen the first part, has been absolutely abysmal. Uh, Rick's got an Odyssey Versa. There's micro hinges. Seems to have the same putter every single year. And that wind again has just Go. whacked it. The wind is playing a massive part on the exposed greens today. Anytime there's an exposed green, like the wind is just yeah, it's definitely holding it, a bit more. it up. And I'm definitely going to give this a little bit more right to left. Yeah, struggling to get the pace. I like this putter. I do like the feel off the face. I don't know whether it's just a little bit lighter than one I've used in the past. It's a fraction shorter. It's 33 and a half inches where I'm normally a 34 player. It sounds ridiculous, but I can kind of feel it just doesn't... I'm not getting the strike in the middle of the face. Everything feels like I'm hitting a bit halfway up the ball. Pete for birdie. And to win the hole. Pacey? Jesus. Pacey. What's wrong with you? It's downhill. <laughs> Early on in the round, I left a few putts short. Now it's impossible to leave them short. Come on, Pete. That was terrible. So Rick, for a part, to put a little bit of pressure on mine. <laughs> Good putt. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> the holes, by the way, if you've not seen, they've been turned upside down. So we're not taking the flag out. We're not touching rakes on the golf course because of the virus. We obviously don't want to talk about that with all the news at the moment. So, right, Pete for par to halve the hole. Nicely done. <laughs> Par three, 11th hole, 190 yards away from the flag here. This is, there's not a lot to this hole, but it's just got length. The pin on the green looks like it's down. So I'm gonna hit a five. Five iron for Pete. Try and get a little bit of bleed on it. My beautiful S59, red dot, mid-size grip. I actually really like the shape of these. Apart from the bit too much offset, Struck well. Oh. I'll do. Oh, very nice. I'm in business this night, mate. Oh, very nice. I'll save, I'll save the best goal for my channel. Well, you, you kind of wanted to make sure it got to your channel. Absolutely, mate. That, I just wanted to make sure I got a good solid five holes out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going five or six? I am going to go five, actually. Five. That's a decent, decent shot. Can Rick follow me in? So I've got the Callaway X forged. Love Which the feel. Do you... They're nice irons to be fair. Yeah, they are. I think for the price you've got them for as well. The actual quality of them considering rage. Bit off the bottom and curving. Get over that bunker. A little bit over the back, not your best strike. A bit flat. A bit bullety, wasn't it? So Rick just popped up onto the bank. I'm guessing just a lob wedge down to the green. Yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> not much more not, to say. Nothing to add. It's come out nice. Very good shot. 
Break in. Go in. Go in. Oh! oh! Hello. It's all I've done all day, but hey, wow. <laughs> gotta celebrate. <laughs> birdie, mate. That's an actual chip in birdie. As you saw before, the holes aren't fully in, so that is in the hole. Wowzers. Wow. Well, I was getting all excited getting up to this green. I know, I don't blame you. <laughs> Honestly, can't remember the last time I chipped in. Mate, I, mean, well, I did mention 19, the front night. 1999 was the year. <laughs> There's always something dramatic that happens in these challenges. YouTube that... wasn't even around the last time I chipped in. All right, Pete, for Birdie to halve the hole, how has this happened? Well, still the same putt for me, mate. So they take it one shot at a time. You dirty, dirty dog. You dirty dog. <laughs> Not that I can say a lot, but that is halved the 11th hole in two birdies. Good old mate, good old. 12th hole, par four, 408 yards. Into wind. Both hitting driver. Nice hit. Oh, a lot further right than I wanted. A bit leaky. Had the wind in off the right, I didn't think I'd push it that much, it's well right. Damn. Say so what, we're definitely making filming easier. Pretty much exactly the same spot. Aye, aye, aye. Let's go have a chat, Rick. Let's go discuss politics and life and love. Well, this is very, very sociable, Richard. On a positive, I've outdriven you. <laughs> Miles ahead. <laughs> and we've got a shot. Oh, tough pin as well. That got is a ridiculously tough pin. Over trees water. to contend to. However, that's what... Well, that's what could have been. Another yard or two right and we were dead. I think in the summer we would have been, I think. Um, 133 yards to the flag. Hmm. It looks a lot longer than that. I think the wind's playing so Into wind. Factor. Got to keep it low. In fairness, that's what it's playing. It's, it's On a flat, it's 140. Right. I was going to get basically a six iron and just chip it around. I just don't want to go anywhere near that crap. <laughs> Sorry, Trey. <laughs> It's a fady, punchy six iron. Yeah, just so a, a back little. pin, land in the middle of the pin, let it contour in. That's what dreams are made of shots like this. Oh, when it is. Big good. Oh, Peter. Come out to play this back nine. Was well, that just, look at that. Oh, sorry, zoom. Brilliant golf shot, well done. Cheers, mate. That was a tiny, tiny six, that. I knew I'd like these irons, but they are becoming a firm favourite within my mind. I, I just don't have that shot in my calibre, <laughs> a punchy six. Do you want me to talk you through it? Just, I just, listen, I've watched every single tutorial video you've ever done, Peter. I yeah, but I don't, I don't give away all my secrets in those, though. All oh, right. I withhold info. Everybody watching. <laughs> uh, I'm just a, a, a good old fashioned nine iron trying to get it to the back of the green. Okay. I don't have to curve it as much. Come on. That's Wind. Good. Wind. Hold on. It's big, I think. No shot. It's not big. I honestly thought. Honest, right. For the last time, you've been doing YouTube a long time. 
Stop talking until it lands. I thought, when I hit that, I flushed it. And I thought, that's too much club. But hey, take it back, edit. I controlled that beautifully. I felt like I knew I had control of the golf ball all the way through its flight. And it's turned out we've got two good chances of uh, birdie. Back nine, we've come to play, everybody. Gorgeous hole, this one. Twelfth hole. We just hit two great shots from literally that's where we were. And for the first time, I think, in the match, we've got two legitimate birdie opportunities. And for maybe the first shot time in the match, I'm actually slightly closer than Pete. Uh, honestly, when I hit it, I thought I was going to be in that bush. I'm so used to hitting it long, longer than I should do. <clears throat> okay, sorry about the mower in the background. Pete for birdie. It's never moved. Take it away. Take it away. A bit disappointing, that. That was a bit disappointing. I knew it was, uh, by the way, the group behind us, they've played here before. Look at that. That's where you need to hit it. Yeah, a bit disappointed that. I felt it was going to be just coming off left edge and just tugged it a touch. So Rick, legitimate chance now to get it back to one. For all his huffing and puffing today, he's hanging in there. <laughs> by the skin of one's teeth. Oh, have you got this house? Pretty just straight. off the left. Just off just, the left. Just slightly. Come on, Rick. Not one in, please. Go, go, go. Oh, no. <laughs> Ah, you. Still two. Bit of ready golf, Rick's ready. So 520 yards, par five, bunkers, split fairways, greens, dog legs, everything on here. Time to unleash one. <clears throat> Need to finish roughly where that crow is. Well, hopefully you move, Mr. Crow. The chances Rick. of me hitting it where I mean to hit it, though, Peter, are slim. But let's see. I don't know. I think Confidence. You... Come on, that's what I need. I think your confidence should be growing after these last few holes. Pretty good, just like the left of it. It's actually okay. It's okay, I didn't see you down. Just in the, uh, the yeah, it's fine. It's all right. <laughs> Mate, confidence should be massively high. I wonder for three holes. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> I am as well. <laughs> How exciting. Started to lose it, losing it early. Been boomed, but it's slightly right. Somewhere in that region. I think he's got over the hill a bit, so. Should be fine. Don't know. Give it a good whack. Well, certainly put some distance between us on this one. Rick's got three wood off a hanging lie. Now, this could go very badly. Or it could be a shot of a lifetime. Par five. Probably just about reachable. Not sure. I think it's maybe slightly to the right. Okay, we found Pete's on the right hand side. <clears throat> ball way my my ball was way below my feet, Pete's ball is way above his feet. 
It would have made it easier if we'd have hit on the flat. <laughs> 240, bit of a blind shot. Pete's going attacking with three wood here. Oh, be good. Stunning. Be good. No point in zooming in because you can't see much, but unbelievable strike. Good work. So we've just turned the corner and Pete, after his spectacular three wood, is there. Great chance at eagle and what a stunning goal shot. <laughs> He's very proud of himself right now. Kind of uh, showing appreciation to the crowds. Nice shot, Pete. Not really showing you this putter yet. It's got a bit of fertilizer dirt on it, but I actually used this putter back when I qualified for the Faldo series as a junior. I remember holding a great pot on the last hole. Confidence is high with it today. Rick's up on the bank. Now, I don't want to preempt it, but the last time you're up on a bank chipping down, Someone hold it. Come on, say him again. Chipping eagle would be nice. As long as I followed him in with a pot eagle. Tell you what. Ooh. Nice chip again. It's a weird one. It kind of. Um... It just <laughs> took off the slope. Yeah, just kind of shot of it. It's definitely down from where you were there. I think everything kind of bowls into bowls into this section. <laughs> that little smile. <laughs> Gotta keep smiling, Peter. I've got I just hit a green in regulation. So Pete for Eagle, the first real Eagle opportunity of this video. We normally have a couple of looks in a golf bit of videos in the past. We do tend to get like one eagle. Have we had one before? Yeah, first, you remember the first one where I pitched in? Yes, 17th, uh, 16th hole, Burr Hill. Right, <clears throat> that's going back a bit. Pete for eagle and to, uh, to extend his lead to three up. That looks pacey. Is it going to hit the flag? I don't mind that. That was a good effort. Confident. Never want to leave an eagle putt short. And I've not missed a putt of that length with this putter in probably about 10 years. <laughs> so right. for a bird, drop it in. I mean, this would have been quite incredible if the one on the last, this could have been three in a row. But listen, woulda, coulda, coulda, sometimes coulda. I'm happy with pars, Pete. <laughs> happy being a steady par player. I don't need to get greedy with birdies. Okay, just off the left. Went on you. Went on you quick as well. Aye. Tough, tricky pull that. I felt like I didn't go as far left just because of the breeze, just a fraction where that was silly. Pete for birdie to go three up. I feel like he uh, deserves to get really back in this. I would give it him normally, but. <laughs> but, but you're not going to. No, I'm not going to do. I kind of feel bad. Sometimes, sometimes you've got to play dirty. You've got to play dirty. 14th hole, par three, beautifully framed. We're going back to more the tree line section of the golf course now. We saw early on in the first part of the video, front nine. It's a long hole as well. It's 208 to the front. It's kind of downwind, isn't it? Yeah. 
pin's probably going to be playing about 2.15. It's 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 playing roughly ten yards uphill, so it's actually it's two oh six to the middle, but playing nearer to two fifteen. This is the whole layout in front. So even though it says two oh eight, it's just playing a little bit uphill. It's going to be a smooth four rather than an hard five. Okay. Oh, Pete. Mm. Let it go. Let it go. Let it slide. Looks very good. Oh, stunning. Honestly, I had a really tough time controlling myself on that one. Stunning. I was getting a little bit angry. Did you catch every bit of it? Uh, I, I didn't go after it. I just tried to keep it nice and smooth. I think a four is, I think four is the number. I don't think it's any more, any less. Just a nice solid one for you, mate. So I'm gonna go five. Okay, nice solid five for you. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, I feel like I wanna hit it up. Oh, wow. It's around the corner, that's gonna be a, an interesting up and down, I would say. You could say that. <laughs> Safely on board, difficult tee shot, and they put up the hill, Rick. He's left, and he's on the, uh, on the wood chip. Now, this is one of those that if he actually catches it really well, it could be great. It's back up a touch. It's one of these, if he catches it well and he nips it, it could be awesome. Got to catch it well though, very difficult off this type of line. Ah, that's, that's always, always the danger. Oh. Oh, call these guys up or? Okay. I'm stuck yeah. in a bit of between two mines there, Pete. Yeah, it's it's always tough off that type of lie. <laughs> oh, you can have this old Pete. <laughs> Gotta have this one. <laughs> Let's have a uh I'm going to try for birdie. Oh, three up, four to play. Come on. In the nicest possible sense, Rick. I just want to finish this. I don't blame you. <laughs> I want to finish you. I don't blame you. I've not shown up today. Never felt settled. Yeah, you've, you've, you've been, been in command. Bit. I've got lucky a few times. Mate, it's not over yet. It's not over. It's not over yet. It's not over. <laughs> Pete, we're driving on this par five, 15th hole. Hmm. That tiger should, lining. Should have come back enough, I think. Actually struck it. Struck it a lot less from the heel than normal. That's good. <laughs> it went quite straight. I think it's all right. Left semi, I think. Good strike. I don't think there's anything down there. <clears throat> okay, tight list. Come on. Same line as mine. We have made filming remarkably easy today at times. Not meaning to, but... <laughs> Listen. It's not about how many shots you take, it's how easy the filming is. That's my mantra. Wow, you should have been a philosopher advisor. 
<laughs> I'm gonna get all arty. Phil Wasn't Rick. my best, Pete. You're not happy with bonus, that. On a bonus, I get to hit my two iron again. That's why you're down there, obviously. <laughs> so the two iron lies not good. Just got to advance up this fairway par five. Still got a good two fifty to go. I can't, so. I, I, as much as it hates me, it's not even a two iron. No. No. Just like a five iron. Nice shot. You know what, mate? I'd say that's sneaky, one of your best shots of the day, that. It's my best recovery, and I've had a few. <laughs> <laughs> we are 265 yards away from the middle of the green on this par five. Well, okay. Then. Pete's put in a good spot. We're not, I'll be honest, we've not hit loads of fairways today. They've eluded us. Close, Pete's been closer than I have. Yeah, I've, I've just not missed them by quite as no, much. I mean, I'm rough. only a few yards off here. We're playing preferred lies everywhere today as well, so that kind of helps. Yeah. Pete with three wood. If he hits anything like he did in the last part that's five. What, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> just a little bit longer this time, but I think he can get there. Oh, got it that well. So nailed, but just up the right. Didn't see it down, but it's up near the next tee box. Up there. Ooh. I was guarding against that going left. <laughs> well, Shields, he was mine in lands unknown up there. No, I'm not getting to... Well, I'm all right. I mean, I mean, hey, it's a fair way. Right. We'll take it. I'm 128 yards, 130 yards away from the flag. Um, slightly uphill. Do I go one more? It doesn't look that long, does it? No, I'll stick with it. I'll go wedge. Just a strong wedge up there. I'm going to just try and bring the flight down 17%. <laughs> the fact you think you've got control <laughs> of your flight <laughs> within a 25% window. The 17% re reduction in flight will give me approximately 7.9 yards extra distance. Nice. Did you counter in atmosphere? I'm not sure you counted in atmosphere correctly. Have I not? It was a nice shot though. It was a nice shot. Give you credit. Give you a little bit of credit. Oh, this will do. I've even left it conveniently. That's the next tee shot. Ooh. I not know the pimples at the back. Well, I'm not at this club yet, so. I'm going to go for my precision forged Cleveland, which has been precisionly left out of all shots so far. Well, the good news, we're on the next tee box. Oh, mate, I left myself in a great position. I don't even have to carry my bag down. Perfect. So, I miscalculated. <laughs> Told you, mate, identity is the thing. I miscalculated, right. Pete, so what, wait, what loft is this? Uh, 52. So it's just half a swing. I'm actually going to come around here so we can see the... Where it finishes. Up and down for the match. Nippy. Nippy. Nipsville. Love that. Well done, mate. Very nice golf shot. Cannot take anything that was nice. away from you. Yeah, I nipped that very, very nicely. Rick has a very... <laughs> he's got a long putt here. I mean, this is a, a bit of a monster across the green. A good 50, 60 feet. It didn't actually look that far on the fairway, but pin all the way at the back. Wandering so hard to get it all the way up. 
pretty much uphill all the way. Slightly tricky that one though, that was all the way back up the hill. It was the longest putt on the golf course. Ever. Right, come on Rick. Easy two putt. <laughs> Take that one away. If I left it short, there would have been big issues, Peter. <laughs> right, so let's mark the date and time. 15th hole, Centurion Club, just north of Watford. The fifth and finale of the Golf Bidder Second Hand Club Challenge. Peter Finch versus Rick Shields. Two men at war for many a year. And this is to seal victory. <laughs> Again, many a year, and this is to seal victory. Fan bloody tastic, oh. Peter. Very, very good. I don't know how we're supposed to do this these days, but I think, we'll be, I think we've been together long enough over these last two days. Well done, mate. Well done. Cheers, Should mate. we, um, well, first off, crown you as the Golf Bidder Second Hand Club Challenge champion Thank of you. the world. Congratulations. Do you have any, any words for your let doting me, fans? Let me just take a little bit of time to think about it. So I think it's been obviously a lot of history in this challenge as well. Maybe we'll, do you want to just swap clubs, play these last few, and then play down the last, because the last are good old. It is a good deal. So we're, we'll, we're swapping clubs. And then we'll sum up. We'll just sum up the experience over the last few years. Oh. Lovely. Hmm. Well done. M1. Yeah. M1 time. You've been wanting to bit this all day. I have, to be fair. <laughs> oh, so much <laughs> easier. <laughs> Let's play all this again. Let, Brilliant. Let, listen, uh, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick again and we'll start all this again. <laughs> that was ripped. It's cut the corner, just smashed it. That felt unbelievable. Oh uh, wow. Brilliant. That's all it was, everybody. I just picked the wrong clubs. I'll tell How you does what, that look? <laughs> this looks old. <laughs> it, it, it looks old. I definitely went too retro with this this year. With the title this driver. Let's Isn't see that? if I can keep up with you with this. That was my mistake. Old school Rory. Oh. Ball, Not quite suited to that one. <laughs> that was a driver for you, mate. This is, this is it. This is all I needed. Now, if I stick this nice and close, make birdie, let's just call it null and void. <laughs> let's just start again. Well, let's start the five year, five year cycle all over again. A uh, little pitching wedge. Yeah, this is perfect. It, 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 already I feel better. Well, they're going left on you as well. Sounded great, that. That was a miscalculation in distance. <laughs> Shock, well, shock. Well, that's not happened before. Shock, shock. <laughs> Let's see how Rick rocks this uh, white hot. <laughs> he left, he must have had about seven putts from outside 40 foot today. Big greens, big slopey greens here as well. Down we come. I cannot believe you've left it short. I'm starting to think it might be me. <laughs> no. Sta no. I'm the last person to blame me. <laughs> but you're starting to just get that feeling. I'm, I'm just, I'm running out of excuses. Right, okay. <laughs> That's understandable. Stunning, well done. <laughs> really, really solid, Rick, solid golf, everybody. Good drive, though. Let's just go free for all. We've got two bags worth of grand. 
What, how far do we have, sorry? One, two, five, little par three. Okay, you've got a nine. <laughs> <laughs> We're both hitting the nine nine, the Callaway nine nine. The pin is just there. Absolutely primed hole in one pin. Looks good, doesn't it? Just requires a little fade for Pete, slightly into breeze. I mean, it's it's literally got hole in one written all over it, Pete. You can a bit more up there, aren't you? Yeah. So if I go straight at it. <clears throat> straight at it. It should pull a touch and basically go in. I mean, that's how it works. Ah, wind has got it. Just over that bunker. I was just, I was just hoping for a kick. <laughs> Imagine a severe. It just left shoots kick. left. I was playing with a guy once who. Imagine that tree behind the green on the right is yeah. basically right of the bunker. You kind of sliced it into the tree and it bounced off and went in. What? And right. if you think of all the quality shots I've hit in my lifetime, I've not had one. <laughs> right, come on. Let's go for number two. Now this one will count because it's on camera. <laughs> Mate, listen. I don't make the YouTube rules. If it's not on camera, it doesn't count. I have no evidence of this. You heard. I don't know. You, I don't know you sign your scorecard correctly in open qualifying and witnessed by about forty people. This might not have been true. You heard the screams. <laughs> did I did? I heard your scream. Literally from the clubhouse. I was like, "That's Rick. He's not an only one." Oh, just drifting as well. Come on, kick off the bank. Yeah, a couple of nice, safe, professional shots there. How need. boring. Last doll. <laughs> ah, um, so, yeah, I was just going to record and just get on to the 18th, and Rick's actually just hold a putt. He says, so I say to him, I say, you're not going to record this, Pete? And he goes, no, let's just save it to the 18th. All right, okay. So you finally relaxed. Well, let this be a lesson to you. You've got to play without Don't pressure. Don't play without cameras. Free roll. How, how do I play golf without cameras? I think that might be tricky. The, Rick, the time has come for you to drop the camera, just focus on your golf, all right? That's what people want to see. So basically, I won the last hole. I'm in for birdie. Pete's got to halve this. Rick goes, Rick goes two up with <laughs> one to play. 18th hole, and what a fantastic hole this is. It's a par five. Looks fairly inconspicuous off the tee there's not a lot going on but as you get over the brow of that hill and get towards the green you can just see the flag by golly is it a good hole <laughs> he's gonna hit a two iron a little tight it's two iron gonna yeah. hit a little stinger for you gonna go stinger never hit this club and i've got Ever. my favorite driver back out And that's a shank. I would say that I maybe just lost a touch of focus on these last few holes. All the memories from the past five years flooding into my mind. <laughs> Guys, get down to those comments below as well. Let us know what your favorite part of the Golf of the Challenges were. I mean, there's been a lot over the last five years. It's been it's been great. I mean, the whole concept of the video and working with Golf Bidder have been great and obviously managing to get out with Rick. I mean, there's obviously sacrifices in everything you do, but it's been, it's been class actually. I've really enjoyed it. Two things just to say on that. One, this is not the end of me and Pete for matches. We will do more. Two, it's not the end of videos with Golf no, Bidder. No, no. But in, thought, this, in this thought, format? In this format, we we'll may change it like down the line. Right. Only because I, I literally can't win anymore. It's just not, it's become unfair because I, I play a tour pro every time. We've got a, we've got a crazy concept next year where Rick gets a grand and I've I, got 100 quid. And I get a six shot handicap. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? Well, I think that'd make it competitive anyway. I want six shots and I'm going to play with my own clubs. <laughs> uh. Right, let's see what happens. I'm not being funny, Rick. You pick the same clubs every year. You do play with your own clubs. <laughs> yeah, nice shot.
That this drive, is that drive is the one driver. for you. Can't believe you didn't pick it. Oh, they couldn't afford it, Pete. I don't, know, I don't know how you swindled the numbers, but I couldn't afford this. <laughs> Have you heard this? <laughs> because you blew all your money on micro hinges and your putter. I Get a white or out. I couldn't afford it, listen. Drive, Rick, I'll, uh, I'll take a drop down the fairway Are on you this just one. Like, the cameraman on this I, 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 I've switched off now I'm like I'm done can you record it as well five years building up to this um, I feel like I want to play your shot well, both on 300 yards away no driver off oh the driver floor. off the deck what, no, I'm going to hit a little two iron yeah don't be uh, don't be crazy now not with everything to play for <laughs> let's try and get oh hang on it's uh, the wrong way around I'm filming myself there. <laughs> okay Meant it. It's okay. <laughs> Your host is going to play a little, a little stingy one. Oh, that looked nice. That looked very nice. Good shot, sir. What was your favourite part of the golf bit of challenges, mate? What's your fondest memory? I can't ever forget the final hole at Woburn last year. That was class, wasn't it? It was just like, you just couldn't have hit it, wrote it. I was one up, playing against the tour pro. And <laughs> I'd hit right, you'd hit left. You had played this miraculous shot to like that. I was in the trees dead, and I also managed to make a miraculous shot when I went airborne. I still think my shot was better because all you had to do was just effectively a full shot. <laughs> Get out, mad. Oh, what a strike that was, by the way. <laughs> I didn't really look how far I was there. Oh, the strike of the day, though. Congratulations. Thanks. Man. What was your fondest memory, Pete? I don't know, maybe it's just recency bias, but it's, it is hard to look past that finish from, from last year. I think the first one as well, like holding that eagle. And oh, at Burr Hill, that was it, class. And because it was all so new and <laughs> it was great. I mean, we did Burr Hill, Bearwood, The Grove, Woburn, Centurion. This is Centurion here, the clubhouse. Hosted the sixes a couple of years ago. I think we've got a mixed event here later in the year, a ladies event. Hopefully that goes ahead. Yeah, I hope so. Pete, the last old little nippy lob wedge. Nipped. Beautiful shot. Let's uh, let's wrap it there, and let's get to the clubhouse for a. So for one, that is done. The golf with a five hundred pound challenge after five years has been completed. Three two to me, ultimate champion of the golf bidder challenge. I've got you. A little. I preempted the victory, so I've got you a little, uh, a little something, Peter. I don't for know. you, it's not going to be anything good. To keep forever. Oh, oh, thank you. I'll buy it for you. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> this. This is the the trophy, the ultimate weapon of victory. It was good, this actually. But guys, on an all serious note, I just want to say massive, massive thank you for watching me and Rick over these last five years in the Golf Builder Challenge. Obviously, you know, we provide a lot more other content, but I know you guys particularly love this challenge. And like I said, we're still going to be doing loads of filming together. There's still going to be loads of videos on the way as well. But that's it for the £500 challenge. Subscribe, like the video, get into those comments. Big thank you to Golf Builder for helping us do this over these years. It's been absolutely amazing. And we'll see you down here next time. We'll see you soon. <laughs>